the story is definitely about Ron and Reggie, and it's definitely their film, it's definitely Tom's film. But it is told through Francis's eyes. I was always very curious about Francis as a character. So many people had just dismissed Francis. And I met Chris Lombriano, who was a member of the firm, and I spent a whole day with him in the East End. And I said to Chris, finally, at the end of the day, what can you tell me about Francis? And Chris said, oh, Francis, she's the reason we all went to prison. And when he told me that, I knew how to write the movie then. It was like one of those great moments of, of Eureka. Here was a classic gangster movie, but with the narration being told by a female character. We've rarely seen that before. I was there, and I'm not careless with the truth. To tell the story from a woman's point of view would allow more of an examination of their characters. And we found it very hard to find the person who would pull that off until we found Emily, who had not just the perfect look for Francis, but also the acting ability and the subtlety to inhabit a character who is hiding a lot of anguish. You know, one of these days, Ron Cray, your miserable life will swallow you whole. Emily came in, I had one meeting with her and Tom where they just sat and had coffee and told jokes, basically. And I think you know if two actors have chemistry very easily. And just seeing the two of them together, I thought that it was going to work. She met Reggie when she was 16. They dated for quite a while and then got married and were only married for sort of eight weeks. She gets caught in a triangle between these two chaotic characters who are deeply dysfunctional. Ron's jealous of her because it's taken Reggie away from him. Their marriage can't move along because Ron is kind of the third person. It becomes a fight between his twin brother and his wife. My loyalty for my brother is how I measure myself. What about your loyalty to me? There was definitely a part of him that would have loved to have been free of the gangster world, but a bigger part of him thrived on it. You're a gangster. You love being one. What she loves about him is that he's different, but what makes him different is quite terrifying. But that just is him, and that's his world. I like the money and I like the respect of being a club owner. 